My name is Erin Clark. I teach second grade at Sanders Elementary in JCPS. Um, a, it is a Sanders is a Title I school. I teach some of the sweetest, silliest, funniest, and most appreciative kids that you will ever meet. On the left is a picture of us on picture day. This is our class picture. We're missing a few kiddos, but for the most part, this was all of my class this year. And they were, as you can see, the most adorable students that you've ever seen. I know that you probably are biased about your own too, but this was a really special class for me and the most fun that I've had um, in my four years of teaching. So the picture on the right is um, a few of my students. This was us at field day. And I love to have fun, and I've just learned in the um, last four years that um, smiling throughout the day and making it um, a point to smile and laugh with your students will really go a long way for them, and I think that it's taken me a long way in my job, too. Um, the kids know that I love what I do, and they know that I love them, and um, I think that I appreciate that, um, and I know that they do, too. And one thing that's really important for me um, and one of my most favorite times of the day is um, during reading workshop. So um, I'll teach a comprehension focused lesson with um, a comprehension strategy to the students. So for example, um, in the middle picture, those are thinking stems and writing stems that I use for students when I teach um, make it, have them how to make connections to what they're reading. Um, and then the left picture is of my expectations whenever I do to introduce reading workshop and they go to their stations to practice the comprehension strategy that I'm that we're focusing on that week. So we do read to self, word work, work on writing, buddy reading, and then we also do listen to reading. And um, the way I set up my workshop is through the Daily Five book and I use the lesson straight from there and it works really well and it allows me also meaningful time with students to pull small small groups for guided reading. Um, and then the right poster is just another um, poster that I leave up to reference whenever we teach another comprehension strategy questioning. Um, so yeah, this is my favorite time of the day um, and I love teaching reading and I love teaching the comprehension strategies because I think that it really teaches students um, to not just answer questions and um, and do multiple choice and feel like reading is a, um, I don't want students to feel like reading is a burden. I want them to learn to love reading and I think that comprehension strategies and reading workshop really help me to help them succeed in achieving that. Um, another thing that I really um, try to incorporate in my classroom is student choice. So this is a poster that I um, use, and it's also a lesson in the Daily Five book about um, how to choose a just right book. And um, these are the steps that the students use in order to choose their own books for their book boxes, and that is what they reference and use to practice the comprehension strategies that I teach during my whole group focus lessons. Um, a little bit about me is that I just got engaged in uh, May, I got engaged on Oaks Day, and my this is a picture of my fiance and me. Um, he had a photographer there, so we got really sweet pictures um, captured of the day. So that was right after it happened. And then, um, so the middle picture is obviously the day that I said yes to my wedding dress, and I chose this picture because it shows two sweet little girls that are really important to me. Um, Hannah is um, in the white and she's seven and Caroline is four and they are my nieces and that is their mom who some people think is my sister but she's actually my sister-in-law so my brother is married to her. Um, and they have two adorable little girls and then this right picture is of their newest addition, Ryan. And he is a year old now, so this picture was from last summer, but um, he um, just completes our family. And um, yeah, so that is all about me and all about things that are important to me in my classroom and in my um, real life, I guess you could call it. And um, 
and all about my students. So thank you for listening.